what you're looking at is my CT40, Honeywell CT40 Android screen. And I wanted to show how to configure this so that you can get RFID or barcode scanner input uh, from a reader into your web page. So uh, I set these things up to make better access, to get better access to the setup uh, window or the menu. But if you pull down from the top and pull again, you'll see a small icon. That's where you would get it. Uh, if it's not already on your desktop as a shortcut. And for whatever reason, this unit is acting really slow, but I think I'm still going to push through here. When you go to settings, there's all the standard Android options. This is Android 11 on this, but there is one thing that's very unique on Honeywell hardware, and there's a Honeywell settings area. I kind of like this, to be honest. It really does focus on the Honeywell hardware part of it, the customized part of this Android version that they put on here. So <clears throat> it's all good. Two things I want you to look at here. One is um, scanning, internal scanner, default profile, and data processing. You should have the wedge button checked and the wedge method should be set to standard. And what's the difference? The standard versus keyboard. Uh, I won't go into the dirty details here, but the standard will just be much faster. Okay. So enable wedge, enable wedge method to be standard. And then in your suffix, if you want to have um, such as in our case with this AssetWorks mobile app, we want to have an enter key after each read, whether it's from the RFID reader or from the barcode scanner, we want to have an enter key. And so the suffix is set to backslash X zero, not O, but zero D is in Delta. That is the ASCII control code for carriage return. So uh, we set that up, wedge as keys, 9, 10, and 11. Let's do that as well, right? Um, and again, I'm not going to go into detail too much here. There is a um, <clears throat> an interesting thing you can do with Honeywell units to um, edit the data on a scanner so that you can modify it's it's kind of an interesting thing but we're not going to do it for this assetworks mobile app and when we get to the rfid one it still says you can do that but you can't it, it i checked with support and they said no that's wrong it shouldn't even be there leave the rest of these unchecked so really your suffix your wedge keys and most importantly checkbox on wedge and standard method when you're done with that just back out you probably should check and make sure that you've got, you know, um, whatever your barcode that you're, you're scanning should be enabled here. It's probably already is. Uh, there really isn't much else here, I don't think. So leave the rest of those there. Come back as far as you can to Honeywell settings again. And instead of setting or scanning, now we're going to hit RFID. And we're going to select our IH40 reader, default profile. A lot of this is the same. Notice here that uh, data processing is on the bottom this time. But it's the same idea. Wedge should be enabled. Wedge method should be standard, right? And your suffix should be backslash XOD, wedge S keys 9, 10, 13. Um, and launch easy config. This is for if you do easy config barcodes to put it in keyboard wedge mode and so forth. You want to have that to be enabled. All right. <clears throat> and again, this, that's, that's really interesting. Oh, I know where that is now. So if I come up here, I wanted to show a couple other things. You can set your notification to be vibration rather than beeping if that's annoying people um filter settings again this sounds great it works in the barcode scanner 
It unfortunately does not work for the RFID reader yet. Maybe they have plans for it down the road, but it doesn't work yet. And that's a shame because that's where we could actually set the hardware up to filter out things that aren't of interest, like UPS box codes, right? All right, then up here is where you can set your strength and your strength can go up as high as 30. And if you do that, um, I wanted to show you something else here. I've replaced the normal keyboard with something called uh, No Keyboard. It's another app, and I'll show you why when we get to the application. But if you want to actually have Gboard, you can go back to Gboard. So when you type here, uh, you should come up with a number, and I can back up and do 30, say OK. Session is 0 through 3, but keep it at either 0 or 1. I would recommend 0. Because when you were doing tag searching, we want the tag to respond as often as possible. And if you use these other session codes, it's, it's, a, it's a technical aspect of passive RFID that tells the tag how often to respond when energized. Okay, So we're going to leave it at zero for now. All right. So those are your settings. The data processor settings down here. Make sure it's wedge standard and put in your enter key there. Uh, filter settings, or you can ignore that. And up here, you just want to say, here's your field strength. If it, if you're getting too many reads because you have too much stuff around, lower your power there. When you come out of this, um, this setting again, your handheld device, your IH40 in this case, should now be set up properly for use with this application.